everybody, my name is Megan Gard Lilly. I'm a member of Skagit County Ground SAR. I've been a part of the group for about 20 years off and on, um, and in my time here I've um, seen a lot of great things and met a lot of great people. So today's essential is going to be your first aid kit. And I'm going to talk about a few uh, key points. Um, the first being that your first aid kit is going to be geared toward whatever type of activity you're doing. So whether you're going to be mountaineering, whether you're going on a short day hike, or you're backpacking, we're going to want to pack your first aid kit geared toward what type of activity you're doing. So the first thing we want to talk about is how we store our first aid supplies. We want to make sure that we use a waterproof container. Now I realize this doesn't look very waterproof. This is one that's bought commercially, sort of as is. But what I would do is put this in a gallon Ziploc bag to make sure that everything stays dry. So one of the main components of a great first aid kit is going to be something for bleeding control. And we have sort of uh, all the way from one spectrum to the other. On the low end, we've got our band-aids for the cuts and scrapes and bumps that we might get. All the way on up to maybe some gauze for a larger laceration. Um, and then one of the main staples would be something like a tourniquet uh, for more major bleeding. This is definitely going to be more geared toward your hunters, um, people who are in higher risk situations for um, severe injury. The other key item I want to talk about in a first aid kit is mobility issues. Whether that be blisters, a sprained ankle, or heaven forbid a broken leg. There's two ways to deal with blisters. One is prevention and the other is after the fact. Uh, with prevention, I use what's called leukotape. It comes in a roll. You put that on before you start hiking to avoid blisters. Now, I don't like carrying this big roll with me, so I always sort of scale everything back to fit in my small first aid kit here. I've wrapped a little bit of leukotape around a pencil, for example, to keep it nice and clean and ready for my use. So moleskin is great, especially once you start getting those hot spots. So I always carry that in my first aid kit as well. As far as sprained ankles go and injured limbs, uh, we can do a lot with what we have sort of in our backpack and with our 10 essentials. An option as well is to carry something like this. This is an aluminum splint. It's very lightweight, easy to carry, and this is great for sprained ankles um, or more complex splinting um, if something worse were to happen. Another really important thing to have in your first aid kit is going to be anything that's specific to you. So whether you take specific medications, uh, maybe that's an EpiPen because you have a severe allergy. Maybe you um, take a medication orally every day that if heaven forbid something happened and you got stuck in the woods, you have that with you um, that you can take and make sure that you stay on track. Thank you for watching today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something about first aid kits. Always pack one with you. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe.